Good afternoon, everybody. This is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California. It's a beautiful day out here in Oceanside, around 72 degrees and not even windy, just a perfect day. So today, um, I'm gonna talk about the Tangem version two wallet and why I purchased it. I'm gonna talk not so much from an expert experience, but from a customer experience. And, um, but before I do that, I gotta legally read you my legal disclaimer. This video, um, I'm sorry, um, th I'm not a financial advisor and this video is not financial advice. Uh, this informational is for education, excuse me, this video is for educational and informational purposes only. Um, everybody, including myself, is responsible for making their own investment decisions. Um, okay, so basically what happened was fry, or I was looking for a cold wallet for storage, not because I desperately needed it, but just something I could have around. So. I could store a few tokens on it here and there, right? So what I did was Saturday, I was doing about um, five hours of research and I, I went through a couple different wallets um, I, I, and um, I, I, I chose a Townsend wallet and the reason I did it is because I, I think it's the most budget friendly and user friendly wallet around. It's one of the cheapest wallets I've seen, probably the cheapest. And, but there, there's a setup process to this, but it only takes a few minutes. And the, the security uh, of this wallet's up there with the best of them. Um, and um, not one Tangem wallet has been hacked and almost 1 million uh, of these wallets have been sold. Uh, Tangem wallet is considered a, a cold storage wallet. So it's, it's a very secure wallet. Um, one of the things you'll know is, is the difference between the old and the first generation and Tangem 2 wallets. Um, is what I'm going to talk about here, um, and this wallet actually it comes with two or three extra cards. They kind of come with these little cards that come with it, and um, adding the extra card is only another ten dollars. So I would say you might as well do it. Um, it the, the cost is around a little under seventy dollars with a discount if you do the three cards instead of the two cards. In fact, I would highly recommend this. Um, you know, as we all know, stuff happens and cards get lost, um, at least for some people anyway. Some people never lose anything. In fact, my entire life I've never lost a cell phone or never had it stolen because I'm really careful with it. I always take it with me everywhere I go, but some people, you know, it all takes us with that one lapse of memory and you may be, for whatever reason, you were using it at a friend's house and you forgot to get it or, you know, there's a million reasons you could lose a card, but, um, I would suggest getting a three pack of cards instead of the two pack um, for that reason. And um, I wanna give you the paraphrase definition of the Tangent Wallet that, that comes right from their website. They offer top level security, simplicity and accessibility. Customers will enjoy complete autonomy and independence while managing their assets with a single tap or taps. The Tangent Wallet breaks down barriers for crypto newcomers and enhances the custodial experience for advanced users. Wallet activation takes less than five minutes or maybe 10 minutes if you take your time. Um, there are three things to know about the Tangent Wallet. So I, I wanna go over these with you. Uh, the chip in the card generates a random uh, private key which never gets exposed. That's one of the things. Um, Number two, the cards establish a secure connection with each other and transfer your encrypted private keys. The third thing to know is keys are stored on three cards with no other copies to be found across space and time. Um, this card was established in 2017 and no Tangem cold wallet has ever been hacked. So they've sold almost a million of these and out of the million that they've sold, none of them have been hacked. Okay, excuse me. All right, in addition to your seed phrase, you will also, uh, you're also protected through biometrics and your uh, special access code you set up. I believe, uh, I believe they uh, have you take a fingerprint and you're, and you're secured that way as well. Um, so they've also survived an independent firmware audit. The Tangent firmware ha had, has had two independent audits under its belt. The first one was in 2018 by a Swiss company called Kodolsky Security and another in 2023 by Riskure which is an international security lab. Both audits confirm that the firmware has no backdoors or vulnerabilities, is not updatable, and contains no hidden algorithms. This wallet has also been community verified by thousands of users on GitHub. Um, so the first thing you wanna do if you wanna use this is, the first thing you're gonna do is download the Tangem app. Um, in order to set this up properly, you will need a smartphone. 
just about any smartphone will qualify. If you have a smartphone, there's a 99.9 .9 chance it'll work. Um, you will, you, um, you'll, you'll need to download the Tangem app from the App Store. Make sure you're downloading the real app and not a fake version. As far as I know, there's no fake versions out there. Um, if you just type Tangem into the App Store, it should pop up and it should be the first one you see. Um, also make sure you are always using the current version. So, you know, maybe every week or two check to see if there's a current version you need to download. It, it might even give you an update thing in, uh, when, when you load it, say, hey, there's a current version available, click here to download. It, it could even do that, I don't know. Uh, once you download the app, uh, there's a little button on the bottom called uh, scan card. Uh, and you'll hold your card and start the, actually you type it in the search box and you'll hold up your card and start the scanning process. Make sure you scan each one of your cards. This should only take a few seconds. I'm um, setting up your wallet, option one. You can generate a new wallet without a seed phrase. That's the first option. They give you a super secret key. Um, this is the only option available in the oldest version when they used to have the old version. The problem with doing this though is if you lose the cards that came with your wallet, um, there will never be a way for you to ever restore your cryptocurrency that you lost. Um, there's no Hail Marys or customer support alternatives here. It, your crypto is certainly, uh, or your crypto is completely gone. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, a lot of customers didn't like that idea that if you lose your cards, you lose your crypto. Um, so they came out with two other versions, uh, the, the, the option or two other options. The option, the second option is you can generate a seed phrase or import one um, with option two, you gives you the opportunity to generate a 12 uh, word uh, seed phrase. Okay, now um, option three, you're probably familiar with if you've had an older wallet in the past, some of them have, have 24 four words like the ledger wallets um, came with 24 words. Um, and that's what option three is, is you can import a, a seed phrase from your old wallet um, of up to 24 words, uh, like the ones you'd get from, like I just said, ledger wallet. If you wanna generate a new seed phrase, this is um, a chance to upgrade from your current cold storage wallet or transfer from a hot wallet like MetaMask. So that's your third option. Um, Cause I don't know if any of you guys had the Ledger Nano S or Ledger Blue back in the day. I Back in 2018 early, I bought both of those and they were a nightmare to work with. The screens are small and you had to hit these buttons at just the right thing. And if you hit it wrong, you wouldn't get there and you'd have to redo things a million times. That was my experience. It was a just a bad experience I was I had to have my friend up walk me with it on the phone and and, and I, I, I was nervous and this is different um, and I'm gonna go into to, to that soon but one of the things I want to let you know is if you go with airplane mode I mean I'm sorry if you go with um, generating your your seed phrase or importing it you want to put your uh, phone in airplane mode um, because this will stop a malicious actor can actually watch watch you import your seed phrase um, if they have access to your iPhone or have malware installed on it. The chances of this are slim to none, but it's a, it's technically a possibility. So if you have your um, phone on airplane mode, they won't have the ability to do this because your phone will be considered offline while you're while you're importing it. Um, so if, if they do have malware installed, you don't really want to um, use your tangent wall until you get that issue resolved. Um, one easy workaround before you install Tangem is during the setup process is to put your smartphone on airplane mode so you can enter your seed phrase or import it without you know, any malicious actor potentially um, being aware of what you're doing. Like I just mentioned. Um, okay. Page here. Now storing your seed phrase. I would store your seed phrase in a very safe place. What I, what I do is I, I put them, anytime I have something that I you really can't lose or my life depends on it or my financial life. Um, I, I put them on two different uh, USB drives, okay? If I actually drop one in a hot, fr you know, in a hot cup of oil or, or drop it in a bucket of water by accident um, and, and it, it just won't work anymore, I wanna have a second one. So I keep two of them basically in the same room, somewhere where I could easily access them. So if one goes bad, I have a second one. And of course, if one goes bad, guess what I do? I make another copy, so I always have two working copies. The third thing I do is if you have somebody you can trust, potentially somebody that's not involved in crypto, um, that doesn't really know what they're even storing, ask them if they'll hold a copy for you in case your house burns down or something really crazy happens. 
they'll have a copy of your your third USB and then they could prob probably mail it back to you. And before they mail it back to you, have them make another copy just in case that copy doesn't get back to you safely. In other words, use common sense. And um, there's two rules to remember about, um, about backing stuff up, okay? It's common sense. Never give out your seed phrase to anybody you don't know. When I say to mail you a, them a copy of your USB, make sure it's like a family member or somebody you trust with your life. I mean, don't give anybody your, your seed phrase that you know, could be malicious or, or, or could potentially break into your account and steal your, your assets. Um, and never lose it no matter what. Always make sure you have a working copy. Some people commit it to their memory. They, they memorize their seed, for, uh, their seed phrase. Some people put it in safety deposit boxes. It's kind of up to you how you do it, but you know, just use common sense and just, just cover yourself. Make sure you always have a copy of that seed phrase because once you lose it, you're screwed. And, and when you're setting up the tangent wallet, I wouldn't go with the, you, you know, with the, the, the hard-coded key like option one. I wouldn't do that because all you have left is those cards to protect you. You have, once you're, they're gone, they're gone. So I, I would do a seed phrase and make sure you keep backup copies. That's what I would highly suggest because you're, you could be talking about tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars on there. Um, so back up your cards. Make sure you back up all your cards uh, you ordered when you get this device during the setup process. Um, you won't be able to back these cards up later. So when you get these three cards in the mail, make sure you back each one of them up. Um, you only get one shot at doing this, so make sure you take advantage of that one shot. Access. Now we're going to talk about access code. Um, with the Tangent Wallet, you're going to have the opportunity to create an access code that's going to protect you in case your cards are stolen. Um, you will also need to enter this every uh, you uh, to use one of these cards each time you make a transaction. Um, now you can. Uh, now I'm going to go over adding tokens to the wallet once it's all set up. Once you're all set up, you will notice only Bitcoin and Ethereum are displayed in your token section by proxy. In other words, those are the only two coins you're going to see. But you can easily add tokens like you know Solana, um, Quant, Chainlink, or whatever. Um, they have a search bar where you can type in any coin you want to add. Um, you can type it in by the coin name, like, like Chainlink would be Link, Quant would be QNT. Type that in and just watch it come up. Um, you're also going to have to select the network the token's on. You can always, uh, that usually comes up when you, when you type the coin in, like it'll give you a choice of networks and, and select the network you think is best for that particular token. Um, you can always hide and add tokens anytime you want. So if you want to hide a token, you can always hide it. If you want to re-add it, you can always re-add it. Um, and just because a token's deleted from your screen doesn't mean it's actually on, not on the blockchain. I learned that when I had my uh, Ledger Nano S and Ledger Blue wallets. I still have them, but. Um, so, so adding a custom token is a token that's not listed in the thousands that they, they do offer. And all you gotta do is select the network of the token you're adding and then add the contract address. You just paste the contract address in the contract field. And once you do this, all the other details of this token are going to auto populate by proxy and then you finally just click the add token button and your token will be added to the token list. Okay, now we're going to go over the settings menu. Um, from the settings menu, you can cho choose your currency and they have, uh, they one of the features that they have is a keep the wallet in the app feature. This means that you won't have to scan one of your cards each time you use the app. The Tangem app will use biometric authentication to unlock it. However, you will still need to use your card for signature approval. Um, as an alternative, um, they have another button called the Save Access Code button. Um, and, and you could actually uh, keep this feature on so you can approve future trans, uh, transactions with biometrics instead. Biometrics could mean um, either they scan your face and you, or they scan your thumb, or one of those two options, and you could approve transactions that way. Nobody can approve a transaction without having your similar biometrics and that would be impossible basically so that's a really good level of security so you can either do it through one of your cards that you get one of those three cards or through biometrics um, there's also a flip to hide balances feature so if you don't you know if you feel someone else is going to use your phone and you don't want them to see the, the balances of your coins in your app um, you could turn on this feature and your coin balances won't display when when you use your tangent map. You'll still see that you have the coins, but you won't see the actual balances on the screen. But this is an easy to toggle switch. You just flip it on and off and you can get basically what you want there. Excuse me. Now we're gonna go over theme settings. Um, you can choose between a light and a dark theme. 
So if you're if you're the kind of person that likes to see a dark screen, you can do, set it there, or you can see a light screen. I'm I'm always a light screen type of person, but you know, it, it's to each his own on that one. Um, one one of the things I like about Tantrum is, and this is what I want to talk to you about, is more like on the customer experience side, it is is it has great security, which I like. Um, over, almost a million users, and not one one has ever been hacked, and they've been audited, so it, it's it's a very secure app. But I won't have any problems viewing my stack. Uh, I have stashed away in cold storage. And even though these coins are considered in cold storage, you're using them on the app, but they're much more secure than just using the app. And breaking in your app isn't gonna do them any good. They have to, in order to take your coins, they have to either use biometrics, which they're not gonna be able to do, or one of your cards, which they're not gonna have hopefully access to if you have them stored in a different location than when you're carrying around your phone out in town or whatever. Um, everything is displayed using a smartphone app. So it's not like the Ledger Nano S when you're looking at that tiny little screen, ridiculous little screen that they got that are, it's like this big, you know? Um, and it makes my coin balances very easy to read. And that's what I'm gonna like about it. I haven't got it yet, um, it's on its way, but I'm gonna get around to all that stuff here soon. The great uh, graphical user interface, which is what I'm talking about when I say using my smart smartphone app, um, it gives you when viewing your coins and the balances, it's second to none. It's like the best viewing experience you can have, especially when you're viewing stuff in cold storage. Um, I mean, this is a long-term thing and I wanna be able to view my, my stuff in style. I don't wanna be able to, you know, just view them on a little ridiculous screen. So this is the primary reason why I chose the Tangem as a customer, in addition to its impenetrable security features. I've owned the Ledger Nano S and Ledger Blue since 2018, like I mentioned before. And the app, navigating the apps on, on both of these are nightmares, especially the Nano S. They have a ledger stacks uh, that I was considering um, because I trusted the ledger name because I've been using it for so long. Um, but then I, you know, I researched and I think it's going to be when it comes out about two hundred and seventy nine dollars. But right now uh, they're considered out of stock, so I can't even get my hands on one even if I wanted one. And I tried to um, add my name to their mailing list and it wasn't working it, it just it just i don't know it just wasn't working um i it just says can't add your email or whatever which is ridiculous um so you know what i said i said screw it and i looked elsewhere and i'm glad i did because I, it forced me to go somewhere else to get my wallet and I, I i you know so i started looking around and tangent was the one that i decided to go with there are a couple of the close calls but tangent is where i went and so the the wallet after the coupon code I'm in the U.S. I'm in Oceanside, California, and it costs me $68.90, and that's out the door after taxes and shipping. And I chose the three-card option, not the two-card option. Um, so it's ridiculous for under $70 not to get the three cards. I, I know that there are certain reasons technically why you don't need three cards, but just get them. I mean, what's the big deal? It's like 10 bucks. So for everything this wallet does, that seems, to me, that seems almost free. And let's talk about the guarantee that they give you. Um, this product has a 25 year guarantee. And when they, they say when the Tangem wallet is used correctly, it will remain safe for at least 25 years. Uh, the hermetic plastic construction guarantees that the chip will remain secure even in the depths of the Mariana Trench. To give you perspective, the Mariana Trench is 36,000 feet deep or 6.8 miles deep. So imagine taking your car and driving somewhere that's six, almost seven miles away. And imagine that driving it underwater that entire time. That's how deep the Mariana Trench is. It's, it's like the deepest part of the ocean. And they say that it'll stay safe even under those conditions. And the air pressure down there in the Mariana Trench is eight tons per square inch, or about 1,100 times the air pressure on the Earth's surface. So, so that gives you some perspective as, as, on how strong these, um, these cards are that you buy with the with the, with the wallet. Uh, now shipping, um, it, it ships out from Switzerland. The company's based in Switzerland. Now keep in mind that right after I ordered, I didn't get an email immediately actually because I ordered it on Saturday night. Honestly, I was a little ticked off about this because when I ordered it, I expected to get an email within a few minutes saying, hey, your, 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 your device is on its way, but I didn't get that. Um, so, but what I but so I waited it out because I knew it was legitimate. It wasn't like I was ticked off because I didn't think the company was legitimate because I I already knew about the company and and how how good they were. But 
this, but finally, Monday afternoon, after I ordered it Saturday night, on Monday afternoon, I finally got an email with the order number and the tracking number, and basically saying the order has, has been shipped and it's on its way. And so I got a tracking number through USPS Priority Mail. That's how they're shipping it. Um, so my point is to give them a day or two to process your order if you do actually order this device. Um, you'll eventually hear back from them. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about their affiliate program because I noticed that I was looking at a lot of influencers and they don't talk about it. Um, Tangem does have an affiliate program, which uh, they pay you every time you make a sale. You need to sign up for their referral program using the Tangem app so you become a customer and own the Tangem wallet first. Um, they'll actually pay you at $5 in USDT from the Tron network. It, even though it's USDT, it's part of the Tron network, and they pay you uh, about 30 days after making the referral. Um, they can also pay you using the Tron token itself or the TRX token. Um, you'll need to send them uh, to the Tangem main website, which is uh, tangem.com forward slash en. En stands for English, so it's tangem.com forward slash en they will need to enter your referral code once they get there. An example of a referral code they would give you if you wanna be an affiliate would be something like this, 5W729V. That's just a sample code I got from their website. Um, it's a random set of six numbers and letters. Um, when they enter a code like this, not only will you get paid the $5, they will actually get 10% off their purchase. Um, so it's a win-win. Um, the customer is going to get 10% off by entering your code, and you'll get $5 USDT for referring them or, or through Tron. Um, and if they go there without your referral link, if, in other words, if they say, screw you, I'm going to bypass your link, I don't want to use your code, they're going to pay 10% more. So they're losing by not you, you know, using your referral link. So it's, it's a good program from that perspective. So it's, it's, uh, it's your customer's uh, benefit that they use your referral code. Um, they also have a generic uh, custom link you can use with your code already in the link so customers don't have to remember to type it in manually. Um, if I make future videos on this product after I'm an official user, I, I will probably end up promoting it with my affiliate code, but you know, at five bucks a piece, I'm not really gonna lose any sleep if I don't make too many sales. You know, this isn't like my biggest product I'm selling by far, but it's, it's some, I, I'm just making this video because I'm gonna let you know that I bought it for myself and. I figure you might want it as well, so I'm sharing the video. This particular video won't have my affiliate link. I'm gonna use someone else's affiliate link because I don't have the product yet, so you can get your 10% off. I just wanted to let you know that. So if you feel Tangem supports your current business model, you can also become an official reseller and get marketing materials to boot. They got flyers and all kinds of stuff you could use if you become an official reseller, not just an affiliate, but a real reseller. So working with this company, if you decide to, is a win-win. Um, now, if you want to become an expert on Tangent, I'm going to show you how. And it's not through me because I'm not really an expert at cold wallets or Tangent. Um, this review was done on a customer level, like I said. If you really want to become an expert using all the little features of the software, check out the YouTube uh, channel Cyber Skrilla. He, he's posted dozens of videos just on the Tangent wallet. And, 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 and you can take notes and, and learn anything you want about the wallet. So when you do get it, you can easily do pretty much anything you want to with the wallet. Um, he makes tons of videos on this a cold wallet. He goes over the transfer of hot wallets like MetaMask to Tangem and pretty much anything you could think of. Um, I was able to watch one of his videos and take good notes so I can take care of business once the software arrives. Um, one of the things I want to mention before I go on any further is during this bull run, um, if you've got stuff you know, on Coinbase, it's a pretty secure exchange. It's an extremely secure exchange. Coinbase themselves have never been hacked. So if your security is good on Coinbase and you have a strong email and a strong password and you have a pass key, um, you know, and you, you, you know, the, the chances of you getting, you know, hacked are, are one in a gazillion. Um, you know, people that complain about stuff like that happening, um, if you really look deep down into what, they always did something stupid to, to get in that position in the first place. Um, so. A lot of his, the guy, Cyber Skrilla, a lot of his videos are graphic and you can go walk along with him and get all, all your stuff done that way. And um, that, that's what it's about, right? I mean, it's about being safe and secure. And one other tip I wanna give you when you get your hands on this wallet is whenever you make a transfer from another coin that you own into um, Tangem, make sure that you double check the key, the first three characters and the last three characters 
double check them two or three times and make sure they match. Um, because if you know one character off and you can send it to the wrong address and you're screwed. And the other tip I wanna give you, and this goes with any time you transfer cryptocurrency anywhere, either from or to, always do a test transaction first. Do, the minimum they'll charge is usually like $10. Do a test transaction first and, and make sure it shows up in your other wallet. Um, and if you're gonna do something, you know, really, really high, you know, you know, of a lot of value, like transfer an entire Bitcoin or whatever, do first do a $10, $20 transaction, whatever the minimum is they allow. Make sure that goes through first properly. And then do it in chunks. Do like maybe 15, ten dollars to $15,000 a day for four days. Make sure, every time, make sure it clears before you do the second transaction. Because you don't want to lose the entire, you know, thing because you made one little mistake. I watched a video on that once and it was just a, uh, it wasn't re a real video, but it was just a mock video of some guy losing $344 million because he copied and pasted the address and realized that the last character on the end, he didn't um, copy and paste it right and he lost his whole fortune basically um now in reality that probably wouldn't happen because it'd probably be a network error that it couldn't send to this address because of whatever but technically speaking it could happen i mean if it gets sent to the wrong wallet you're done um so make sure you do a small transaction first then then break up your other transaction depending on the i mean if it's a 200 hundred dollar coin just do a ten dollar tra test transaction and then the other 200 dollars or whatever but if it's five six thousand dollars maybe send you know, a ten dollar transaction, then a thousand. Make sure it clears, and maybe another thousand, and then another thousand, and until the you know you have it all across. Um, that's what I would do. Um, so uh, I'm not really sure what my next video is going to be about. Um, it pro it could be another coin, or it could it could just it could be about the plan. I I'm just not sure yet. I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit. But in the maybe I'll surprise you. In the meantime, peace out and have an incredible day. And I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. All right, take care.